A word from God can change your life forever. So stop looking for information. Go to God for revelation. This is the live broadcast of Adonai Covenant Christian Center. And you're about to experience a life-changing moment from the prayers, word, and declarations today. Welcome to church. Welcome to the supernatural. Welcome to Revelations. This morning, Sunday, 26th day of July, year 2020, to Eye of Triumph of Adonai Covenant Christian Center, based in Ekoi, Lagos, Nigeria. This morning, I'll be starting a teaching entitled Suspending the Laws of the Earth. Suspending the Laws of the Earth. Let's share a word of prayer. Precious Father, we thank you. Eternal Father, we bless you. We worship you, we exalt you, we lift you high, we glorify your name. We give you praise, we give you thanks, we give you worship, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you, Lord, Father, for another day, another Sunday, another week. Father, we commit, Father, Lord, uh, this sermon, Father, Lord, this message into your hands. I commit, Father, Lord, uh, all the listeners and even the speaker into your hands. Grant us clarity of thought, speech, and understanding. Speak to us, clarity, speech of the living God. These are done with thanksgiving in Jesus my name, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are, you are brighter than the morning star, you are fairer, much fairer than the lilies that grows by the way, you are precious, much precious than gold. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are. You are brighter than the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer than the lilies that grows by the way. You are precious, much precious than gold. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Is always just the same. Oh, praise His holy name. That is the reason why loving so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. In trouble, trouble, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Is always just the same. Oh, praise His holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. All this we do, Father, Lord, with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. So like I said earlier on, the topic is suspending the laws of the earth. Suspending the laws of the earth. When God made man, as documented in the book of Genesis, he gave, a, he established certain laws concerning nature. He established certain laws concerning the earth. And these laws, these rules and regulations govern the earth, they govern nature. But God has given man dominion over all the works of his hands. God has given man dominion over all the works of his hands and he has made it possible for man to suspend or to defy certain of these laws of the earth, certain of these laws of the nature, even if temporarily or briefly he has given man ability, the capability to suspend certain of these laws that govern the earth and nature, even if just for a shorter or brief period of time. And that's what I'm going to try and show through this uh, teaching, suspending the laws of, of the earth. Suspending the laws of the earth. Habakkuk 2 verse 4. Habakkuk 2 verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, 
but the just shall live by his faith. So the just does not does not just live by faith, he must live by his own faith, but the just shall live by his own faith. And we are told that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. God has created man to walk in authority. God has created man to walk in power. God has created man to walk in dominion. First Corinthians 4.20 1 Corinthians 4.20 For the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. For the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. So God has called man to walk in power. God has called man to walk in power. Genesis 1 verses 24 to 31. Genesis 1 verses 24 to 31. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in an image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over. So he made man, both male and female, and said there, let them have dominion over. Over what now? Over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cartoon, and over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue so it. So the first thing is have dominion now over all the works of the hands of God, and then secondly, subdue them, bring them and dominate them, make them subject to you, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over everything that liveth that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every heart bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for me. And for and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth. We are in there is life. I have given every green herb for me, and it was so, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good, and the evening and the morning were the seed day. So he made man, and gave man authority to live in dominion, to subject all, to subdue all the works of God's hand. And this dominion, this authority and power was given to all of mankind. There are promises that were made to mankind and there are promises that were made to believers in Christ. Now this is a promise that was made to the whole of mankind. So whether you believe that God exists or not, whether you are a believer or not, whether you are a believer in false religion, you are a partaker of this particular one. You are a partaker of this particular one. And what has happened is that there are two major ways to walk in dominion. Two major ways to walk in dominion supernaturally. And that is the one that is available solely to believers. The ability to walk in dominion, to subdue supernaturally, is only available to believers. The second one is true knowledge. True knowledge. Daniel tells us that knowledge shall increase. Daniel 12 verse 4. Daniel 12 verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. So the second one is true knowledge. What is called science, technology, inventions, and all of that. So the believer has an advantage. The believer has the ability to work in dominion, to live in dominion in two ways, through science and technology and inventions and supernaturally. While the unbeliever can only work in dominion, true knowledge, which is science, technology and uh, 
inventions. I said that the believer has an advantage. He can walk out, he or she can walk in the two streams of dominion, which is the supernatural one, signs, wonders, and miracles. Why then he can also, he or she who is a believer, can also dominate the earth through science, technology, and inventions, but the unbeliever can only dominate the earth through science, technology, and inventions. Maybe you are listening this morning, you are not yet a believer in Jesus Christ. My prayer for you is that you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior by the end or even before the end of this message, suspending the laws of the earth. So, there are laws that we are made to govern nature, there are laws that we are made to govern the earth, such as the law of gravity, the law of day and night, the law of times and seasons, revolution of the earth, the sun, the moon, the law of sunrise and sunset, the law of seed time and harvest. All these laws we are put in place to govern nature, to govern the earth. But God has given man ability to suspend those laws at times, even if only briefly, even if only briefly. And that's what we are going to be looking at in the course of this teaching. So, where we just read in Genesis 1, 24 to 31, we see the offer that God made to man. So, what does this offer entail? Or what does this offer consist of? He says, let us make man, let them be like us. So let them be like us. So, what does it mean? It says to have dominion over, to have dominion over the fish and the seas. That is to have dominion over whatever swims. Man's ability. So, man has received an ability to transverse the oceans and the seas, including going to the depths of the oceans and the seas through inventions, through science and technology, through ocean going vessels, even through submersible vessels like submarines and so on. That is one. He says also to have dominion over the fowl. That is over everything that flies. So man has received ability through science and technology, through inventions, uh, to invent uh, or to manufacture aircraft. Uh, and by so doing, man has the ability to suspend the law of gravity, even if temporarily. So when an aircraft, whether it's a plane, whether it's a helicopter, whether it's a rocket or satellite, when it takes off, uh, it suspends the law of gravity. So, you enter into an airplane now, and you're going from here to Abuja. So, for the duration of that one hour, the laws of gravity are suspended. The law of gravity simply means that what goes up must come down. So, for that duration of one hour, that law is suspended until the plane arrives in Abuja. A man has even gone beyond that. He has been able to shoot rockets into the atmosphere, to send satellites into the atmosphere, and to leave those satellites there for even decades he is able to leave satellites in the atmosphere for even decades so he says have dominion over everything that swims have dominion over everything that flies have dominion over everything that creeps upon the face of the earth so have dominion over every animal every livestock and man has been able to do this by taming every manner of beast man has been able to have dominion over everything that creeps by the ability to tame everything that creeps so he has the ability to domesticate every animal and one of the ways that is done is the creation of uh, zoological gardens or what is known as zoo. So we capture animals, we tame and domesticate them. You know, we have domestic uh, pets, maybe cats and dogs, but we also tame and uh, or capture wild animals and put them in zoos. But it's not only that. In all of these things that God spoke also, he gave man the ability to have uh, what is known as agriculture. So in all of these things, we also see agriculture there in all of its forms. So today man has been able to, to diversify agriculture in an unprecedented scale, industrial agriculture. So you have cultivation of crops, you have aquaculture, that is fishing, you have animal husbandry. All these things uh, we are giving uh, of God uh, to man believer or unbeliever. But there are certain realms that a man or a woman cannot walk in until he becomes a believer. That is the realm of the supernatural. And that is what I'm majorly going to look at um, in the course of this uh, teaching. So, where we first read in Genesis, verse 1, that is what is known as the 
Edenic Covenant. That's the second covenant in the book of uh, Genesis. Edenic Covenant. So, the first one is what is known as the Solar Covenant. That is the laws that govern the solar system. The laws that govern the solar system. And let's go to Genesis 1 again, verses 14 to 18. Genesis 1, verses 14 to 18. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So this is what Bible scholars call uh, the first, very first covenant in the Bible, known as the Solari Covenant. But man has been able to supernaturally Defy some of these laws that govern the earth and nature. Man has been able to supernaturally suspend, even though briefly, some of these rules and regulations that govern the earth. Let's go to Joshua 10, verses 12 to 14. Joshua 10, verses 12 to 14. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Adanon. And the sun stood still, and the moon still, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and he started not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. In the book of John, Jesus said that when he came to the tomb of Lazarus, he said, Father, I give you thanks, for I know that you have had me already, for you hear me all the time. You hear me all the time. My prayer for you this morning is that God will hearken to your voice in an unusual way and manner, and that he will grant the house of the desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, and the Lord had king to the voice of Joshua. The Lord had king to the voice of a man. He says, never before until that time or thereafter, and God had the prayers of a man like he had the prayers of Joshua on that day. I pray for you again this morning, that God will hack into your voice. That God has been hearing men, he has been hearing women in time past and even today, that your own will be extraordinary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the Lord who did an extraordinary thing for Joshua. When Joshua spoke to the sun and the moon, he said, you sun and moon, stand still, don't move, don't revolve, don't orbit, just stay where you are. I said, God will hear you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will hearken to your voice in Jesus' mighty name. So, God has created man with incredible authority and power. It is your responsibility to walk in that authority and power. So, when Joshua spoke, he gave command to the solar system. If God made you, if God created you, then hearken to my voice. Because God has made me in his image and his likeness. And the sun and the moon stood still. Psalm 8 verse 3 psalm 8 verse 3 when i consider thy heavens the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest thee thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion. See it again. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. So he gave man dominion over everything that he has created. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. Thou hast put all things under his foot. All things that God made, he has put under his foot. All the sheep and the oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. 
He gave manna unusual power. But a lot of us uh, do not understand that. And because of lack of understanding, we are not able to walk in that power and authority. Because of lack of understanding, we are not able to walk in that power and authority. We do not know who we are. We do not know who we are. He said in the book of John, John 10, 34. John 10, 34. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. God has called you and I to walk out in authority, to walk in dominion, to walk in power. He says everything that he made, everything that he created, he put, he made subject to us, he put under our feet. You know, they used to sing one song. Satan don't fall for God. Uh, uh. If God created the devil, if Lucifer did not create himself, he says uh, he put all things all under our feet. Son of God, daughter of God, stop being uh, afraid. Stop being fearful. He says, say, say to the righteous. Or he says, the righteous has bold as a lion. So Joshua suspended uh, the laws of the solar system. Let's go to another example in 2 Kings 20 verses 8 to 11. 2 Kings 20 verses 8 to 11. We see Isaiah and Ezekiah here. Isaiah and Ezekiah. And Ezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and that I should go up into the house of the Lord the third day? And Isaiah said, This sign shall thou have of the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward ten degrees, or go back ten degrees? And Ezekiah answered, It is a light thing for the shadow to go down ten degrees. Nay, but let the shadow return backward ten degrees. And Isaiah the prophet cried unto the Lord, and he brought the shadow ten degrees backward, by which it had gone down in the dial of Ahab. So, the person that actually cried unto the Lord was the prophet Isaiah. Look at how the Amplified Bible puts it. Ezekiah said to Isaiah, What shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and that I shall go up into the house of the Lord on the third day? And Isaiah said, This is the sign to you from the Lord that he will do the thing that he had promised. Shall the shadow denoting the time of day go forward ten steps, or go back ten steps? Ezekiah answered, It is an easy matter for the shadow to go forward ten steps. So let the shadow go back ten steps. So Isaiah the prophet cried to the Lord, and he brought he the Lord brought the shadow ten steps backward by which he has gone by which it had gone down in the sundial of Ahaz. Isaiah the prophet cried to the Lord, and God heard him. I pray for you again this morning. God will hear you. You will have the ears of God. Do you know what it means to have the ears of somebody? So maybe there's somebody you want to approach for a favor and obligation, and you don't know how to approach that person. Maybe you are not too familiar with that person. You don't know that person um, that much, you know. So you you look for somebody that knows that person very well, and they say, "Oh, yes, you can go and talk to that woman. Uh, she uh, she has the ears of the man. That is." Uh, anything that that woman tells that man or brings to the man, the man will hack it. That is what it means to hear. So, there are men and women who have the ears of God. I pray for you again this morning that you have the ears of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you this morning that you continually have the ears of God in Jesus' mighty name. So, the topic is suspending the laws of the earth. I said there are laws that govern the earth. There are laws that govern nature. But man has been able to suspend some of these laws. Man has been able to suspend some of these laws of nature. Man has been able to suspend some of these laws of nature. Exodus 14 verses 21 to 29. Exodus 14 verses 21 to 29. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea 
And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were wall upon them on their right hand and on their left hand. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. And he took up their chariot wheels and they gave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, there remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were walled on them on their right hand and on their left hand. That, to walk out spiritually in authority and power, to dominate and subdue spiritually, you must have the ears of God. God must be ready to hearken to your Christ, to your prayer. I ask and I pray, I beseech heaven on your behalf this morning, that God will begin to hear you more than ever before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The man said that God said to the man, stretch forth thy hand, and he stretched forth the hand, and the Lord immediately sent a wind to make a pattern in the way. God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said he makes a way where there seems to be no way. He causes waters to arise where there is aridness. I cry out on your behalf this morning. Every obstacle, every barrier, every race in your way, let it be parted now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every man Mountain, he who said that, if you shall say to that mountain, if you have that faith as a grain of mustard seed, then you shall say to this mountain, be that removed and cast into the sea. Every mountain of sickness, illness, disease, affliction, infirmity, in your way, I command it to be leveled now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every mountain of unemployment in your way, I command it to be leveled now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every mountain of limitation in your way, I command it to be leveled now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every mountain of financial material difficulty and problem, every mountain of financial and material lack and want, I command it to be leveled now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bring you to surplus and abundance into unusual and precedented harvest in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord had Moses, God will hear you. I said the Lord had Joshua, God will hear you. The Lord had Isaiah and Ezekiah, the Lord will hear you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He who said in the book of Hebrews, is this not a better covenant? So, the covenant that I have, or the covenant that God has with me as a believer, it is better than the covenant with Moses, it is better than the covenant with Isaiah, it is better than the covenant with Ezekiah. If God said so, and he said scripture cannot be broken, he must hear you. So, what happened on that day? He said, he said when they got to the Red Sea, the Lord said to him, stretch forth your hand. As they moved forward through the Red Sea, a path was cleared for them to walk through on dry land. If you have ever gone to a riverbed or a seabed, it's perpetually wet, in as far as the water is uh, flowing. But on that day, as that wind, you know, it's like if you uh, for women who use hair dryers. So when you use a hair dryer and you put it on, it, it, it gives a gust of wind. But that uh, gust of wind is also hot. So that wind that was blowing on that day, that parted the Red Sea, it was probably also hot and it dried the ground. It dried the ground. The Lord will dry the ground before you so that you can walk on dry ground in Jesus' mighty name. The psalmist said, The Lord has pulled my feet out of the miry clay and put my leather, my feet on dry, uh, on dry ground. I said, The Lord will pull you out of that miry clay in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That quick sand of sickness, illness, disease, affliction, infirmity that wants to swallow you, the Lord pull you out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That quick sand of unemployment, that quick sand of barrenness, of unfruitfulness, of childlessness, 
person that wants to swallow you, that God pull you out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That quick sign of financial lack, that quick sign of poverty, of impoverishment, the Lord pull you out of it now in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord dry that ground up before you to walk on dry ground in Jesus' mighty name. So, he created a pattern, he dried them, the Red Sea before them. Many miracles happened in that one instant. Many miracles happened in that one instant. The ground before them became dry so they could go before it. Then the waters congealed. The waters froze. Bible scholars say it was like as if the walls of the water became ice. There was no refrigerant. There was no freezer. But supernaturally, God froze the waters. And the Bible says uh, the waters rose as a water on their left and their right uh, and they walked through it. They walked through it. They walked through it. Wherever you are going to, that destination that you have set out to, you will get to your destination in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you will walk through the mountain. You will walk through the valley. You will walk over obstacles and barriers. Uh, you will walk over hindrances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They walk through supernaturally. The waters froze. And then, as they were going forward, and the Egyptians uh, were pursuing them, every time uh, that the Hebrew children moved forward, and all of them moved forward, immediately the waters behind them began to melt and subsumed the Egyptians. So, when they walked forward, it froze. And as they moved forward, and there was no Hebrew man or woman left behind, and they are not stuck, the waters immediately began to defreeze and to melt and to consume the Egyptians. I declare and speak concerning your life this morning. Every pursuit of your life, every pursuit of your destiny, every pursuit of your husband, your wife, your children, every pursuit of your health, let them be consumed in the rest of Jehovah's fury and anger in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you move forward supernaturally, all those who are pursuing you, they will be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The waters defrost and consume them. Psalm 65 verses 5 to 7. Psalm 65 verses 5 to 7. By terrible things in righteousness will thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are are far off upon the sea, which by his strength set it fast the mountains, being gathered with power, which still let the noise of the sea, which still let the noise of the sea, the noise of their waves and the turmoil of the people. Everything that is the enemy is trying to use to frighten you. The Lord will still be noise in Jesus' mighty name. Joshua 3, verse 5. Joshua 3 verse 5. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow, that God will do wonders among you. Sanctify yourself for tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you. I speak and I declare concerning your life uh, that even as you enter into that which is called tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders uh, for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do wonders on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will answer you with terrible things in righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give you victory by terrible things in righteousness in Jesus' mighty name. That God of wonders, that God of wonders has done it again. That God of wonders, that God of wonders has done it again. That God of wonders, that God of wonders has done it again. That God of favor, that God of favor has done it again. That God of success, that God of success has done it again. That God of breakthrough, that God of breakthrough has done it. The Lord will grant you breakthrough in Jesus' name. Joshua 3, verses 13 to 17. Joshua 3, verses 13 to 17. And it shall come to pass, as soon as the souls of the feet of the priest that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of the whole earth shall rest in the waters of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand upon an heap. It shall congeal again. He said, I am the Lord, and I change not. Hebrews said, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Now. So, if he congeal the waters once, he can congeal it again. If he did it yesterday, he can do it today. If he did it yesterday, he can do it tomorrow. Whatever God has done for other people yesterday, he will do for you today, he will do for you tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And they shall stand upon and heap. Verse 14. And it came to pass when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan, and the priest bearing the ark of the covenant before the people, 
And as they that bear the ark were come unto the Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the Jordan were dipped in the brim of the water, for Jordan overflowed all his banks all the time of the harvest, that the waters came down from above, stood and rose up, and hid very far from the city of Adam, that is beside Zarepha. And those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea field, and were cut off, and the people passed over right against Jericho, and the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood on firm ground. Again, they stood on firm ground in the midst of the river. I declare and I speak to you again. The Lord will pull out your feet from that quick sign in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your business, your husband, your wife, your children, your health. The Lord will deliver you from that mighty claim in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every quick sign, every wet ground that is holding on to your leg, that is not allowing you to move forward, that is not allowing you to move forward freely, that has slowed down your peace, that and slow down your speed. Father, I declare, I count unto you this morning. Deliver this your sons and your daughters from every quick sign in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deliver their business, their finances from every mighty clay in Jesus' mighty name. They stood there on firm ground. They stood there on firm ground in the midst of the Jordan. And all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over the Jordan. He has promised he can never fail. I will follow him. I will follow him. My Lord has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forever man. His faithfulness is forever more. Second Kings 2 verses 8 to 16. Second Kings 2 verses 8 to 16. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. They gave dry ground. I declare and I speak concerning you again. I said the Lord will pull out your feet from that quicksand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are married, your business, your finances, the Lord pull you out of that quicksand, out of that Mary clay in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every Mary clay of trouble, every Mary clay of problems, every Mary clay of challenges, I declare and I speak, come out of it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I say, come out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, come out of it in Jesus' name. They too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they had gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass as they went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. And he went back and stood up by the bank of the Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, There is the Lord God of Elijah. And when he also had smote the waters, they parted hither and thither. And Elijah went over. And when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah got rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. Elijah and Elisha went over. The river Jordan parted for them to go over. Then uh, another supernatural suspension of the laws of the earth uh, happened. The law of gravity was suspended. He says now, and it came to pass as they went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by wild wind into heaven. Elijah and the chariots of fire and the horses of fire, 
defy the laws of gravity. The laws of gravity are one of the laws of the earth. The laws of gravity are one of the laws of nature. And Elijah defied the laws of gravity. And he went on. Oh, you will go. Your marriage will go up in the name of Jesus Christ. Your business, your finances will go up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spiritually, you will continue to climb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Financially and materially, you will continue to climb up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the place of wisdom, knowledge, counsel, understanding, I say you will continue to go up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Baby, it's okay. Baby, family, it's okay. King God, you are alone. Oh, I am in Jacko, your daddy. Family was okay. Mama, Jacko, and he made me so okay. Be Family was okay. King God, you are alone. Oh, I am in Jacko, your daddy. Family was okay. Mama, Jacko, so. They parted the river Jordan the first time, Elisha and Elijah. Then Elisha parted it the second time. And then Elijah had ascended to heaven. I declare and I speak. Ascension shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual lifting, financial lifting, material lifting. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will continue to go up and up in Jesus' mighty name. Acts 1. Verses 9 to 11. Acts 1, verses 9 to 11. And when he had spoken these things, when they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward the moon, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus that was taken up out from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go up to heaven. So Elijah defied the laws of gravity. Uh, Jesus Christ defied the laws of gravity. Genesis 5, 22 to 24. And then up what we got after he began in the two cellar. 300 years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Enoch were 360 and 5 years and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God to kill. Elijah defied the laws of gravity. Jesus Christ defied the laws of gravity. Enoch defied the laws of gravity. I declare and I speak concerning your life this morning. Everything that is trying to pull you down I destroy it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been trying to go up and the enemy has been dragging you down. I said every hand, every power that has been trying to pull you down let it be the night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and wherever they have gathered and said you will not climb up let the fire of God consume them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every coven of witches and wizards where the sons and daughters of men have gathered against your lifting let it receive the fire of God now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I say let it receive the fire of God now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every man every woman that has said you will not climb up that has said there yeah, you are is the I declare I speak. I smash that limitation now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every limitation over your life, over your marriage, over your ministry, over your business, over your finances, that said yeah, you will not defy the laws of stagnation, that said you will not defy the laws of dissensions. I declare I speak. Begin to ascend now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let that business, let that finances, let that back account begin to ascend now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your destiny and your glory begin to ascend down in Jesus mighty name. Enoch ascended. Elijah ascended. Jesus Christ ascended. The Bible says uh, at rapture, the believers in Christ, uh, both the dead uh, and those who are still alive, uh, they shall ascend. Uh, I declare and I speak, uh, whether the enemy likes it or not, uh, you shall ascend. Uh, I say whether the enemy likes it or not, uh, you shall ascend. I say whether, whether the enemy likes it or not, uh, you shall ascend. Uh, when the angel appeared to Manuel and his wife, uh, and they offered the sacrifice. The Bible says and the angel ascended to the faith to heaven. I declare and I speak. I said you shall ascend. I said you shall ascend. This is the time of the ascension in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the time of the elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. This is 
this time of your lifting the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every man, every woman who say you will not climb up, let them die for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every witch, every wizard, every sorcerer, every sorcerer that say you will not climb up. I said let them receive the arrow of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every man, every woman who say you will not have sinned. I said the arrow of sickness, the arrow of disease, the arrow of affliction in poverty, I release against them in Jesus' mighty name. They will climb up. I said you will climb up. I said you will climb up. I said you will climb up in Jesus' mighty name. We are going higher. We are going higher. We are going higher, 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 higher. Very great, exceedingly great. You are going higher. You are going higher. You are going higher, higher, higher. Very great, exceedingly great. You will make it in Jesus' name. Every law, every judgment holding you down. Let it be nullified now, let it be suspended, let it be cancelled, let it be removed now in Jesus' name. I pray that you have been blessed this morning through this message, suspending the laws of the earth. And I wish you well in your journeys of life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for joining us today. If you've been blessed by the word, but haven't given your life to the Lord, we invite you to do so by saying this prayer sincerely from your heart. Dear Heavenly Father, I know I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus died for me and rose again. I now receive him as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you just said this prayer, congratulations. It is the beginning of your new life in Christ and we would like to help you grow in grace. Please reach us on any of our social media handles or telephone number displayed on the screen. We can't wait to hear from you. Our services hold at number 10 Ikoya Avenue off McPherson, Ikoyi, Lagos, Nigeria on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9 a.m. As a result of the ban on large gatherings, we are not able to hold a physical service now, but you can connect with us online anywhere you are. Do you have a prayer request or need to speak to a counselor? You are not alone. Feel free to send us a mail or call the numbers displayed on the screen. One of our team members will be there to pray with you or counsel you. Please be sure to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of our updates and coming events. Until next time, stay blessed. Leave from his end, till he returns, or calls me on.